All of these women are such powerful storytellers and many of them use their own experiences to help inform their stories. Hey, it's Kristen, and did you know that starting this month, Turner Classic Movies is launching their Women Make Film initiative? It all begins with their 14 part documentary, Women Make Film, a new road movie through cinema, airing Tuesday evenings at 8pm, showcasing the art and craft of extraordinary films by female filmmakers. They're also going to be airing 100 classic and contemporary films by women throughout the rest of the year. You can visit Turner Classic Movies on YouTube for more on Women Make Film, and because I'm very big on championing women in film and diversity and representation, in honor of this initiative, I am going to be sharing eight female filmmakers that you need to be watching right now. Writing, directing, producing, these women do it all and are changing the game at the same time. Consider subscribing if you like my videos and drop down in the comments and let me know some of your favorite female filmmakers. Have any of the ones that I mentioned made it onto your list or have I introduced you to anybody new? Let me know. Let's start off with Gurinder Chadha who is a British writer and director who often uses her own experiences as an English and Indian woman to inform her films. She often addresses that midway point between traditional and modern Indian Indian culture. You might know her best for directing and writing the 2002 rom-com sports film Bend It Like Beckham, Angus Thongs and Perfect Snogging, the 2008 rom-com based on the iconic books by Louise Renison, and most recently Blinded by the Light, inspired by the life of journalist Safran Manzor and his love of Bruce Springsteen's work. Up next, she's working on an animated film called Pajmina about a modern Indian American girl who rediscovers her heritage through a magical Pajmina. Gina Prince Bythewood first rose to prominence when she directed and wrote her first film film, Love and Basketball, which came out in 2000, inspired by her own experiences growing up. Later she wrote and directed an adaptation of The Secret Life of Bees, wrote scripts for 2017's Before I Fall and 2018's Napoli Ever After, and most recently directed the action film The Old Guard, making her the very first black woman to direct a comic book film. Next she'll be directing The Woman King, starring Viola Davis, about the general of an all-female military unit and her daughter, who fought the French and other neighboring tribes that violated their freedom. Patty Jenkins made a name for herself as a must-watch director after the brilliant 2017 film Wonder Woman. You can really see the care that she put into making Wonder Woman a universal character and not a stereotypical female comic book character who is objectified by the camera lens. The film even became the biggest domestic opening for a female director. She signed on to do a second film negotiating and succeeding in getting a salary on par with male directors in the same position, which is record-breaking for a female filmmaker. Up next, she's not only directing but also writing Wonder Woman 19 1984, which has been a much anticipated film thanks to the dual wins of having Jenkins as a director and Gal Gadot as the iconic Diana Prince herself. Ava DuVernay is a filmmaker who continues to make history time and time again. She was the first black woman to be nominated for Best Director at the Golden Globes, as well as the first black woman to have a film nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars with her 2014 film Selma. She was also the first black woman to direct a live action film that earned over a hundred million dollars with 2018's A Wrinkle in Time. Her 2019 Netflix limited series When They See Us earned major critical acclaim. And back in 2016, a New York Times critic even suggested that they make the Duverney test to kind of coincide with the Bechtel test, but for race, to see if people of color in films have fully realized backgrounds and stories, or if they're just kind of scenery for white stories. Next up, Duverney is super busy. She's got at least three projects in the works, DMZ about a futuristic civil war, The New Gods inspired by DC Comics, and Battle of Versailles, a story of the 1973 fashion show where top French designers went up against American newcomers. Best known for her acting, Olivia Wilde stepped into the director's seat to direct the critically acclaimed Booksmart. An underrated gem, the film really showed off her skill and versatility as a director. Next up she's working on Don't Worry Darling, a psychological thriller set in the 1950s around an unhappy housewife. And and not only will she direct it, but she'll star in it alongside Harry Styles, Dakota Johnson, and more. After that, she's been tapped to direct a currently untitled Sony Marvel project that a lot of people are speculating could be Spider-Woman. Chloe Zhao is a Chinese director, writer, and producer who has gotten great reception at film festivals for all of her projects, many which have actually utilized non-actors to tell authentic stories. Following her debut feature, Songs My Brothers Taught Me, in 2015, she got critical acclaim and accolades for her second film, 2000. 2017's The Writer. Now we're in the midst of the Nomadland era, which has been getting raving reviews. It follows real-life nomadic workers alongside actors Frances McDormand,
Kidman and David Strathairn. Next up, Zhao will direct her first big blockbuster movie with Marvel's The Eternals, featuring an all-star cast of Salma Hayek, Angelina Jolie, Kamal Nunjani, and so many more. Lulu Wang is a writer and director best known for her features 2014's Posthumous with Britt Marling and 2019's The Farewell, Aquafina's first dramatic acting role. The Farewell, which got critical acclaim, was actually partially inspired by her own experience as it explores family dynamics and how Chinese culture deals with death. Up next, she's working on an untitled film project, as well as a new series for Amazon called The Expatriates. Writer and director Nia DaCosta's first film, Little Woods, was praised for its excellent storytelling. All of her projects have been really, really anticipated lately, especially her upcoming Candyman horror sequel, and it's even been announced that she's going to be directing the upcoming Captain Marvel 2. Obviously, these women are all super busy, they're slaying the game, and a lot of them are now being tapped to direct some of the biggest blockbusters of the the next few years. Don't forget to check out Turner Classic Movies Women Make Film and of course check out the incredible films by all of the women that I mentioned today. All of these women are such powerful storytellers and many of them use their own experiences to help inform their stories which just make them even more authentic and exciting to watch. If you guys like this one you can check out more of my videos right over here and I will catch you in the next one. See ya!